Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of structuring the controller which you may like and this comes from laravaldaily.com source. The source is not public anywhere but I'm trying to pick some interesting decisions there and show you in a video. So this comes from my colleague David who decided to structure the show method of the lesson controller with a few internal methods of the controller. Locked lesson and available lesson. And I like this decision and let me show it to you. So when viewing the lesson on laravaldaily.com, you may be locked if you don't have premium membership and if the course is not free and if the lesson is not free or if you have the access, then I open it in another browser, you will have more buttons, you will have the video, you will have the progress, you will have the link to the repository. So a lot of other elements are visible. And here one method kind of shows two different views, two different blades. How different? That is debatable. Then you may choose to use one blade with a lot of if statements inside or another way to structure it is like this. If lesson cannot be seen by current user, then we're showing locked lesson. So we return the result of a method which is inside of the same controller. And inside of the controller, we have two methods, available lesson and locked lesson. And what I liked about that is the readability. So in the main method, you have three sentences which are totally readable like English language. If lesson cannot be seen by current user, whatever that logic is, whatever is cannot be seen and that logic is inside of lesson model, then we return locked lesson. Again, doesn't matter what's inside, we return the locked lesson page. And this also follows the pattern so-called early returns. It's kind of like validation. If something is wrong, then we return some error page or some incompleted page in our case. Otherwise, we proceed with the success scenario with shiny scenario and show available lesson. And also in terms of performance, let's take a look how many things are happening here. Available lesson has three parameters, locked lesson has more. So we need to also show total lesson, total courses, total duration of all of that. And those queries should not be present in the available lesson. So if we don't separate those into two methods, then we may find ourselves launching too many queries to the database, although in some cases we need only some of them. Of course, there are other ways to restructure that because that has a downside of some repeatable code. So this is actually absolutely identical in both available lesson. So we can, for example, form something like, let's try it out in live mode, data equals uh, those three. So those three would be needed in any way. So we have data. And then for the locked lesson, we just pass that data as array, like array data. And then we don't need those show data here and if we do need more data we then add data plus those three additionally and that data is also here and data should be passed here should be the same result so yeah that's another way to restructure so load only what we need to load for both methods and then for some method, we add more queries. That was just a live mode experiment to restructure. But my overall point is the idea that you can divide your controller method into separate internal methods, which may be private or protected for readability of the main method, whether it's show or index or whatever is in your controller. Do you like that idea or not? Of course, it is debatable and of course, there are multiple ways how to structure controllers and other classes and I talk about that a lot in my course about how to structure Laravel projects with all those services, traits and events and actions and all of that. So even the controllers themselves, without even touching those deeper logic classes, even the controllers themselves can be structured differently depending on your personal preference. But if you want to dive deeper, I will link in the description below that course. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.